Experts are saying that magnesium-based water batteries will replace cheap lead-acid batteries. So you still get lead-acid batteries in all these internal combustion engine vehicles. You've got to replace your battery pack after a few years of owning it in your car. You know, obviously we're talking 12 volt battery here. It's a bit of a pain in the butt. I've had problems with that happening to me over the years where I've had to get a, you know, call a tow truck or you know, try and not know what's wrong with your car. You think, what the hell, why won't it start? And that's what it is. The 12 volt battery has died. Some EVs, Tesla EVs and not, but most of them don't, but some EVs have a lithium 12 volt battery. So you have less problems with those. But it's said that within the next few years, researchers believe those crappy lead acid batteries could be replaced by new magnesium based water batteries, which are cheaper and will eventually rival lithium batteries. New research has revealed breakthroughs with water-based batteries, making them much more commercially viable. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Australian researchers have made what they say is a breakthrough with water batteries. Researchers at RMIT University here in Australia have found a way to replace the electrolyte in lithium ion batteries with cheaper and possibly less flammable water. This is an innovation that would remove fire risk from devices entirely, say the researchers. Actually, this is quite an interesting concept because we're talking batteries that are very similar in construction. And instead of having a flammable electrolyte, it's just not flammable at all. So if, if you were to crash into someone else or someone was to crash into you, or if there was a fire in your garage, your EV, it, it wouldn't really burn because there's, there's nothing to really burn. You don't have fuel. You don't have a fuel source. You don't have diesel or petrol, gasoline, and you don't have enough flammable electrolyte, which could be a really, really good solution for a lot of a lot of situations. Well, for example, here's a point, right? Let's say you bought an electric scooter or electric bicycle or an electric skateboard, as in my case. Try going on an aeroplane with that. Try just going to you know a different location. You can't. I mean, you literally can't unless the battery is really small. It has to be the same size as the largest battery you can get in a, in a, in a computer. My, my Apple computer here has the largest battery you're legally allowed to take on an airplane. You can see how a battery pack is a huge, a lithium ion battery pack is a huge problem. But airplanes would allow you to have a water-based battery because there is simply nothing to burn. It would be a perfect scenario. So far, the team has created small batteries that have achieved an energy density of 75 watt hours per kilogram. Um, that's a little bit less about, it's only about 30% of the energy density of say the batteries in a Tesla vehicle. But that's all you would need in a lot of cases. Say for example, 12 volt batteries in your car. We use materials such as magnesium and zinc that are abundant in nature, inexpensive and less toxic than alternatives used in other kinds of batteries, which helps to lower manufacturing costs and reduces risks to human health and the environment, said the lead researcher on these batteries. The, the other thing here worth keeping in mind is water is much cheaper than lithium. And electrolyte, like the electrolytes used, um, the electrolyte formulas used, they're not exactly expensive, but they're nowhere near as cheap as water. So these batteries have the potential to be much cheaper than lithium ion batteries. And at the same time, they have zero fire risks. What we design and manufacture are called aqueous metal ion batteries. We call them water batteries, addressing end of life disposal challenges that consumers, industry, and governments globally face with current energy storage technology, our batteries, can be safely disassembled and the materials can be reused or recycled. Now, it's very common that um, researchers or rivals to lithium ion batteries, in, they will come up with those kinds of comments, which are completely false. The truth is that um, lithium ion batteries are, if they're, you know, anything over, say, this size, they are recycled because the lithium, all the metals in them are very valuable. And so don't, don't, re don't kind of read into the hype of these lithium batteries piling up and not being recycled. They actually are. The RMIT team isn't the only Australian group looking at water batteries. In January, University of New South Wales researchers made a breakthrough, says reneweconomy.com.au, with aqueous rechargeable zinc battery technology after they found a way to solve dendrite problems. Now, dendrites are the biggest problem with batteries not lasting um, for a long time. Dendrites form for pretty much all types of batteries, doesn't really matter what the chemistry is. 
and that leads to the life or this at least the usability of the battery being shortened and the overall life time of the battery declining. Lithium ion batteries have long dominated the market from the tiny devices that run the smallest electronics, uh, your watch, your phone, all the way up to grid scale energy storage. But of course, there's a lot of pros with lithium ion batteries. The, the chemistry has been around for a long time. We understand it quite well. But the thing is, think about it this way, heat causes thermal runway, right? Batteries can catch fire. Thermal runaway means that battery packs definitely can. If you've seen laboratory tests of this, they can, they can do some crazy things. The flames create a chemical reaction that creates even more heat and even more chemical reactions in a disastrous spiral. And it can even happen dangerously in mobile phones. You've probably seen some Samsung mobile phones and other mobile phones that have had those sort of reactions and caused some serious issues. The researchers say that so-called water batteries are the cutting edge of an emerging field of aqueous energy storage devices with breakthroughs that significantly improve the technology's performance and lifespan. Water replaces the usual organic electrolytes in metal ion batteries, a process that came with its own challenges, including the formation of dendrites or spiky crystal growths on the anode of the battery. With aqueous batteries, the zinc anode. Dendrites cause batteries, in some cases, to short circuit. To cure this problem, the team coated affected battery parts with a metal called bismuth and its oxide, otherwise known as rust, as a protective layer to prevent dendrite formation. Our batteries now last significantly longer, comparable to the commercial lithium ion batteries in the market, making them ideal for high speed and intensive use in real world applications with impressive capacity and extended lifespan. We've not only advanced battery technology, but successfully integrated our design with solar panels, showcasing efficient and stable renewable energy storage, which is also apparently cost effective. The next step is to increase the energy density of our water batteries by developing new nanomaterials as the electrode materials. Now, researchers believe that the magnesium based water batteries could replace lead acid batteries in the next one to three years and give lithium iron a real rival between five to 10 years from now. Where would these batteries be used? Well, in everything. I mean, mobile phones, watches, cars, energy storage, everything you can imagine. Will this take off? I mean, will water batteries take off? I think they will. It just, it just makes too much sense. I mean, a battery that doesn't set fire to itself, has decent energy density, um, isn't really affected much by heat, it seems to solve a lot of the issues that lithium ion batteries actually have. Thanks for watching.